Hello, Facebook. Uh, we're in Sackets today, 217 Monroe Street, great house, um, four bedrooms, two baths. Uh, they're asking 269.9, but they're motivated, looking for all offers. Um, turn this around. I hope everybody's week is off to a good start. Good Monday. The weather certainly is beautiful. Um, and just, uh, you know, to point out, I guess, where we are. So this is the Madison Barracks are like right there across the street. You got Main Street down here, which goes across. And then that's the, like the downtown area through there. Um, so pretty centrally located. You could definitely say walking distance to the restaurants, the water, um, you know, all the good things in Sackets, the battlefield. We've got like almost the whole crew here today. Joan, Terry, and Steve are all inside waiting. So walk here on the outside first. You got a one stall garage here in the back. Nice backyard, um, pretty private. You're surrounded by lilac bushes. Shed back here, more privacy hedges. I uh, got a patio over on this side or on the back of the house. Metal roof, I have to say I love a metal roof. They look nice, they sound nice in the rain. Snow slides right off, <laughs> saves your shoveling. Hi Ange. Go around front here and show you the inside. Hi, Patty. There's Joan. Hi, everyone. I didn't hear what you said, though, but this has two and a half baths. Oh, I'm sorry, two and a half baths. Two Four bedrooms, two and a half baths. <laughs> sorry about that. It has a whole house generator, whole right? Whole house generator. Yeah. yeah. This is a great, if you have a nice storm, you will be all set because they have a wood fireplace, a gas log, um, hot water heat, and then they have the whole house generator. So they're ready are, to go. You are ready for winter in this house. Not today. You don't need it, but you are ready. Here, I'll hold the door for I you. I got it. Go ahead. Okay. I'll go. <laughs> this little entryway. I like the color of the house. Even on these hot days, there's a little air movement through here. I like the pattern of the walls. The, and the yeah. refinished hardwood floors. I've seen two rooms and I'm in love. The <laughs> floors are really nice. They have these professionally refinished. Um, they did a great job. And are these built-ins? These are built-ins. Yep. They were custom built-ins. The fireplace in this room is beautiful. Huge stone fireplace. So would you say living room den? I think that's how this owner has always used it. Yep. I like the ceilings here too. Yeah. Nice big windows in the front. Nice um, vinyl replacement windows. Yeah. This would be a good house for plants. This would be good light for plants. Yeah. They get a nice breeze That's a pretty um, wood stove. I like Isn't the stone really too. Beautiful? Yeah, really Even nice. The doors on the stove. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, and a nice wide mantle. I love a mantle. Mm -hmm. Now these folks have um, been working away at the house, just making improvements as we go along. They have a fence that's going to be installed on part of the backyard. Um, they oh, have, yeah. Um, 
the heat cover, they've got new heat covers that are going to be installed. They have a heating contractor that's just going to go through the furnace, make sure everything is um, up to snuff and in good shape. Um, they're even going to have the antifreeze checked in the boiler system, um, which is great because that can be an expensive, you know, an extra expense in the fall if somebody wants that antifreeze in there. But if you have a power outage and you're not here, that protects your, your pipes. So. Well, so certainly... It'll be moving ready when they're done. They are they are great owners. They just Hi, Diane. sure that everybody, you know, whoever buys the house will be in good shape. Yeah. I like these French doors too. They raised their children here and they walked to school. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did point out, so, yeah, I guess that's a good point. I, I, when I was pointing out location, I didn't mention, which I should have, that the Sackett Harbor School is only a couple blocks that way. Yes, their kids always walk to school from yep. here. Yeah, yeah. I point out, you know, the battlefield, it's pretty centrally located. I mean, you could walk just about anywhere in the village from here. No, yeah. Well, that's the key to being in the village is not having too long of a walk, yeah. you know, a nice little stroll to get to dinner. Well, it's nice that you have, so you have like a formal living room, but then this would be great for a den if you like books and things. Those I love the shelves. Yeah, because we great still have sitting area. And a lot of storage. And we still have another room that's an office, so. Oh, so you have another office separate. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Well, let's keep going. This, I would say, is dining room for this the looks of it. This was a nice dining room. I like that one, too. Now that one looks like it's gas. That's a gas log in that one, yep. yep. I haven't seen this house, so I'm... We told her she had to wait. Yeah, this is all a surprise for Terry. Yeah, I'm not used to that. Usually I see them all before we do <laughs> these things. Joan made me wait. Yeah, that is nice, though. Well, and I have a gas fireplace at our house. I think they're great because, you know, if you want wood, you have wood burning for the mm -hmm. aesthetics of that. But gas, you can just kind of... Press the button and go. Yeah. But again, I like the hardwood floors. Let me come over here and do a little spin around. I'm a big hardwood floor person. Yeah, I am too. You know, um, and these are really pretty. Nice wood floors. Well, for me, having so many, you know, I have dogs and kids, and I love hardwood floors. It just works better. Now, what do we have here? So this must be the office? This is the office. Oh, wow. It's this is that. nice. Beautiful. That is very nice. Beautiful. Floor to ceiling, windows, sliding glass door that goes out to the patio. So that's that patio I pointed out when we were outside. So I don't know. I mean, you could use this as an office. It'd be a great just sitting room. I mean, it really could be anything you wanted. Yeah. I would call it a bonus room because you could have an office. You could have a den, playroom yeah. for the kids. Yeah. It's, you know, and for anybody, if they homeschool... This would be a great oh, yeah. room for yep. homeschooling. Well, in both of those things, we still see a lot more of than we ever have yeah. Yeah. homeschooling and working from home. And what a great space. It's I love private. that with between the windows and the door, I mean, this is a really light-filled room. Yeah, I would personally have my bird feeders out there. I'd be having <laughs> my morning coffee, yeah. watching the birds. Yeah. <laughs> Joe would never get anything done. She'd be watching her birds yeah. again. <laughs> really nice. And of course, guys, as always, when we're done, we'll share this on the page. If anybody wants to share it, feel free. We love it when you share our videos. Um, or you can go back and, and look again. Uh, so kitchen here. And it looks like you have a door. You can shut it off if you wanted to. Oh, nice kitchen. Lots of storage. And wood floors in here as well. Yeah. I love it. These counters are really nice as well. Yep, nice solid surface. But I mean, who doesn't like a lot of storage? And, and you really have ample storage in here. Yeah, this is got because you've got Terry actually right. behind her. You have more. You get out of the way. This is really nice. Also, I gas fireplace. Right? Where's that gas um, or electric? I, would, I think this is electric. Oh, this is electric. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty standard electric. Now the half bath is here on the first floor, right off the kitchen. Yeah. You have lots of workspace, lots of storage. I mean, you really can't go wrong in this kitchen. And I like the beams on the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little character. Some track lighting over by Terry. She looks beautifully illuminated. <laughs> um, so yeah, Joan was just saying, so you have a half bath here, which is, you know, your basic powder room. Nice life does the job. Oh, yeah, Angie actually said that would be a great spot for a coffee bar. I agree. Oh, yeah, yeah. that would be great. And then coffee the bars bar. seem to be really popular now. They are right now, yeah. Yeah. 
Let's take a step out here, Bill, because... So this is kind of a really unique bonus. This is a bonus for the right person, yes. So the owner had this approved oh, for wow. a commercial um, bakery kitchen, and she would bake for some of the restaurants. It wasn't for retail, it was for um, commercial. So she did like desserts and things for yeah, restaurants. breads. Catering, she probably. Do, she could do catering here. Yeah. Yep. And uh, how awesome. And she would gladly leave the equipment with the house, and she would help the new owner uh, if they wanted help knowing how to get approved um, as well for their license. Well, I mean, that's pretty generous. So not only would you get the commercial kitchen, the commercial equipment, but you also get her knowledge from doing it before, helping you get approved, and probably yes. some contacts. Yeah. Okay. And whether it was desserts, catering, I mean, you could do any number of things in this kitchen. And this oven is, uh, this commercial oven is all set up. Oh, wow, yeah. It is sparkling clean. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Yes. What a unique, profitable bonus. Well, and those aren't cheap, this commercial appliances. No, oh, God, no. no, the stainless steel three-base sink and the rack for the baking. Stainless steel counters. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, for any, you know, buddy that wants to have a <laughs> home business, um, Angie said, great for family cookie day. Our, yes. fa oh, yeah. <laughs> Our family does do cookie day around the holidays, and this would be pretty cool for family cookie yes, day. That would be, cool. be a rack full of cookies right that there. That would be. Yeah, I know, we always go overboard on the cookies. And this is um, a new back door they had just put in. Okay, well, no, wait, that's a Dutch door. No, behind us. Yeah, but this, this is, is a, a Dutch, Dutch door. door. Yes. yes. I love that. I, I love that. That is so I neat. wish Jason was watching this live. I'm going to have to share it with him because I <laughs> want that. Yeah. Here, let me show him. So, yeah, they put in a new back door here. And that leads out to that lawn in the back that I showed you. And Joan said they were having some fence done. So, like I said, I mean, it's already pretty private with the bushes and things. Fencing is just going to add to that. Yes. And they had um, just had some work done upstairs. They had two new windows put in. Um, so... You know, everything now takes a while because everything's on back order, but they've got that all under control and it's all been in. But for buyers, I think it is a real nice bonus to have that stuff done so you don't have to worry about yes. it. You can just move in and, and get settled. Yes. I love that door. Let me just kind of walk you through the downstairs one more time, folks, and then we will go up. There's the what potential coffee bar area. I think that's a great one. And you certainly are never going to run out of storage in your kitchen. Half bath back there. Dining room with the gas stove. Back here was that office. Well, office bonus room could be kind of anything room. Lots of light. I think this one was just under 2,700 square feet. This is a, it's a big nice house. Size house. Four bedrooms, so you've got lots of room. You could certainly raise a big family here. Mm-hmm. And this was the formal dining room there. Because we had so many of us here today, Steve, I believe, is upstairs waiting for us to yeah. show us the upstairs. Jill, I want to point out, this has a few steps up because below the floor here um, was originally the house was built with a bomb shelter. There's a bomb shelter in yes. there. Yes. So, you know, maybe you could use it for a wine cool. storage, cold storage, but yeah. Yeah, you could have a, uh, a wine cellar. Yeah. Who doesn't want a wine yeah. cellar? More storage here. You just don't, you're never going to run out of storage. Got the nice natural wood bead ceiling. That's insanely cool. Yeah. Just knowing that there used to be a bomb shelter here. Though. Mm -hmm. Well, so there's, cool. there still is though, yeah. correct? Yeah, so there still is a bomb yeah. shelter. So this is a concrete floor that you're walking in. So that's the roof of it. In case anybody's having trouble hearing her. So this is concrete we're standing on, and it's the bomb shelters below us, which would be, you know, storage, wine cellar, whatever. Or if you want a bomb shelter, you got a bomb shelter. Yeah, you whatever know? you want. In yeah. case of emergency, you can lock yourself in there with your wine. There you go. <laughs> we'll go see Steve. Hey, Facebook. Hey, Steve. There's one more house up here, so there's plenty of for, for uh, just me to be showing off. You know, you're, I'm sick of me saying it, but more storage. Yeah, and they're deeper than they look. So you got built-ins here. You got... More hardwood floors. Yep, the hardwoods go throughout. Um, you got your first bedroom here. This is really the, 
It's definitely a home that has that um, Sackett's Harbor historic feel to it. Yeah, you see the ceilings up here. It's got the pocket ceilings. They're all really high ceilings, too. And I think there's echo in here, so you know they're not small. Um, and then from here, actually, you've got second floor laundry, so you've got a nice laundry room. Oh, yep. so the laundry's on the second floor, so no walking up and down the stairs. Yeah. They've made a lot of good use of the space. There's not really any wasted space in this place. And you no. even have the original planks in here, so if you wanted hardwoods, you could redo Could the refinish them. Or just put a carpet down. I think that's great. If you're going to have a two-story house, having your laundry upstairs is a no-brainer in my book. The upstairs of this house, um, it makes an interesting use of the space. So, again, especially for folks looking for a diverse setup, like kind of like downstairs, this is, would be a great option as well. So you got a nice big wide hallway here. That's actually a good thing to point out, too. Really nice big wide hallway. So moving furniture, or if you wanted to have like a little vignette or something of a dresser or something set up out here, you could. You got tons of chairs room. if you want to sit in your hallway and hang out. <laughs> um, this is the second of two bedrooms up here. Hardwood okay. floors again. Wow, really good size. A big room. So this one, a couple things. You see, there's old. Uh, you can see there used to be closet access here. Mm -hmm. So it could be, and you'll see one when we get in the other room that there could be shared closet access. It could be isolated in this room if you wanted to. And then this is actually, they're kind of, this is one of the extra bedrooms, and they are in the process of replacing the baseboards. They just had to um, fix one of the baseboard heaters on this side, so they're working on this. So this is actually, okay, let me back up and show you this again so you get it on video. So you've got a nice sized bedroom, like he was just pointing out, nice white filled windows, but then you have a second room here. Um, could be a den, could be a nice extra closet. Um, this would be a great walk-in closet. Would be, and there's even more closet space over here that they're also working on finishing as well. So, and which even has a window. So you even got some extra. Oh yeah. Closet space. So you got a window there, and then some more closet. Um, could be a nursery. Could be a dog cat room if you are the kind of people that are their animals have their own pets. Could be an office if you wanted your own type of and space. And this is where you know, Joan pointed out downstairs. They've got things, um, the covers coming for these, so that'll be done. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, to me. Walk-in closet, it's a no-brainer, but yeah, you could use it for anything. recently redone. They were working, they replaced the windows, so all the framing, everything in here. So the window's new, drywall and everything must be new? This is all Trim's new? Yeah. This is really great. Yeah, I can then just... Hey, Wanda. Different way of getting, using space, you know what I mean? That really is, and I love options. Whether it was a nursery or sitting room, whatever you want it to be, it gives you some really nice options. That's what I love about this whole house in general, the downstairs sitting room, living room, mm -hmm. you know, you're not stuck to one different use of a space. I think, I don't know if William would agree, but I think a lot of folks will expect to walk into a house and know exactly what room your room is for. This house, I think you have to make, you can see Well, it you've got it rooms that are clearly for one use, but yeah. they could be other right, things as well. to me is a great example. Mm -hmm. could be a den, it could be a sitting area. The Same with the office, yeah. Office. yeah. That's what I think is, I would love about this house. I would be constantly moving my rooms around. You have new windows and everything up here as well, just pointing out. Yeah, they're all vinyl replacements. All the curtains, I believe they said stay, and they're all blackout curtains, so when they're closed, it is dark in these rooms. You get a nice breeze coming through you here, do. too. Yeah, you definitely get a nice breeze. This is the main of the three bedrooms upstairs, or four bedrooms upstairs, excuse me. Again, you see it's a nice, large room. Um, again, to me, it's not... It's got to be a little bit bigger than the blue one. I'd say they're pretty close, though. I would say they're close, but this does look a smidge bigger. And I just want to point out to folks, this is not laid carpet. It's just laying down there. So you do have hardwood floors still through here. And again, the reason this is really your main bedroom is because you've got the attached bath. Oh. Um, yeah, which, for, and I'll be honest, the brown carpet is not my style. I did peek underneath here. It does appear there are hardwoods underneath the carpet as well. So. Yeah, that's really nice. So you've got a bathroom... And, and another and closet, closet off this bedroom. That's why I was saying you could hypothetically repurpose the closet over here for the other bedroom if you wanted to, but if you didn't need to, you wouldn't have to. I don't think you'd need to because you have that other room. Just if you wanted to, you could. And I do think that's, I mean, it is really nice as somebody who has a bedroom in my bath or a bath, mm -hmm. bathroom in my bedroom, it is really nice to have your own private bath. Mm -hmm. So if you have guests or something, you still can have your own space. And it's not... Small. I mean, anybody that's ever no, that's a large bed been bathroom. in a shower or a toilet knows how far, you know, that's like six feet between the toilet and the shower alone. So you've got space. Yeah, for and then sure. And again, you've got an extra closet over here that, again, you can see originally was perfect so for the blue room. So this could be, could be used now. for the blue room if you wanted it to be. Or, and that's a good-sized closet. Or here, well, whatever you need. Oh, wow, look at the ceilings in here. Yeah. Those are neat. I, I think it's just great that they have closets with um, windows in them. It's so rare to have... You know, it's not something I would have thought of, 
but it is really nice to have because you don't end up with um, a dark closet. Yeah. Hi, and Susan. You have another full bathroom as well. Oh, and then you got another bathroom down here. So this would probably be more for like your guest common area. And that's pretty good sized. Um, shower, toilet, sink. There's even storage at the back and then storage to your left as well in here. Oh, storage back here. Yeah. Yeah, this is the house of storage for sure. And everybody's got so much stuff nowadays, kids, all that stuff. I mean, it, it's it's nice to have plenty of area. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, that's cute. And it's even, all these little closets too are, are not as little as they look. They're deeper than they look. Maybe they really are. I love that one. I thought it was clever too, the thing with this. <laughs> that is, that's <laughs> clever. So. So, full bath here. Let me just get ahead of Steve and I'll walk you through the whole thing one more time. So this is the main bedroom, main bath. Um, and again, like Steve pointed out, you do have a closet here that could be for this room or for the room next door, either one. Um, got your own bathroom here. And another closet. This is a great house. And 269 in Sackets Harbor for a house this size, I think it's a steal. This is the other bedroom that has the bonus room. So it could be walk-in closet, nursery, extra bedroom, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. And this was all just redone. And this does have another closet here with a window. Actually, I think all the closets have windows. You know, uh, as I'm sitting here, um, my sister has a teenager who she can hear because her bedroom is next to her teen's bedroom. She can hear him playing his video games at night. This would be a great video game room. <laughs> yeah, this would be. The bedrooms. Yeah, so you give your kids this room and then have them put their video bedroom, game TV stuff the in there. Space. Yeah. Or if you're an adult, if you're adults into games. Um, back to that really big wide stairway. There's Terry hiding. It looks like she's got something to say. Hold on. I'm so excited. And then this is that third bedroom. And it does have on this one off of uh, this one is the laundry room. So no running up and down stairs here. There's even a closet as well. This space is left. Yeah. And then you've got more storage over here on this landing, which I think is adorable. And it's really cute. Yeah. Before you say goodbye to everybody, we want you to take them down to the bomb shelter. Okay, we'll go to the bomb shelter, guys. I suppose that is something to show off. Okay, Facebook. Now this is an adventure you don't get to see every day. Okay, so we're going down here? Yes. yes. It's really a great room. Is this it when you first walk in? Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is pretty cool. Somebody could make that into a man cave or a ladies' layer. <laughs> or, I mean, it's even just great for storage if you're yeah. somebody that does canning or any of that stuff. You know. Or frankly, I still like the wine cellar idea. Yeah. That's what I would do. But there's your bomb shelter, Facebook. You don't see them very often, but they are around. I've sold houses before in the city of Watertown that had one. Well, you're in Sackett's Harbor, the house is building. Okay, guys, so this is 217 Monroe Street, 269.9, four bedrooms, two and a half baths, tons of storage, tons of charm. It's an exciting house. Yeah, if you're going to be in Sackets, I don't think you're going to do any better than this. You should be calling for a tour today. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. You know, before we end today, I want to just, you know, tell everybody how grateful I am for our family in our office. Um, Steve has his photography degree, and he's been doing our photos. And we have Peyton that's been doing um, drone footage. Licensed drone operator. Yep. yep. And Terry um, does sales, but also does property management. And William does our marketing. And so we're really, um, I feel very blessed. It is, you know, shameless promotion. I, it is worth pointing out that I do believe, if I, I will eat my words if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure we're the only real estate office that has someone with a four-year degree in photography, a licensed drone operator, a property manager, and we really got you covered. And our team, we're family, so we do really work together. Well, 
well, just like today, you know, this is uh, a listing that these owners trusted me with, but they didn't just get me, they got everybody. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate that. I appreciate it for my owners that they have all yeah. this talent to be able to help them with their sale. So, and they've got a great house, yeah. but somebody's going to love this place and I, you could be watching. So you need to call us for information, for tours. Joan's always available. I did drop her number in um, the um, description. Yes, Angie, moral support for the rest. Moral support for everybody yes, for Men yes, in White Homes. Um, so, um, but this one's available. It's ready for somebody to come love it. It's and centrally Jones located. You can walk anywhere in Sackets you want. If you call, Joan's not available. One of us is available. So. Yeah. And you can always call the office, which is 782-4476. And one other little plug that if you're in the Chameau area this weekend, we're going to be at the Chameau Craft Fair, field, day, yeah. field days. Um, we'll have a booth there, and we're going to be uh, giving away some pretty cool prizes. So you mm -hmm. might want to come and find that's us. That's always a fun day because there's always something for somebody. Like, yeah. It doesn't matter what kind of family feel you got, whether you're a single person or you have a large family, all ages, there's something for somebody. So definitely come see. I was really looking forward to, especially being someone that lives in Shamo, but I do have a family function, so I'll be honest. Yeah, Terry is your go to realtor in Shamo. So, she won't be there, but she is. So. I, I do live in Chanel, always there to help you, um, but I do have a family wedding in Connecticut that I have to get to, but we'll always be there. Okay, well, we're going to share this on the page so everybody can go back and watch it. Let us know if you have any questions, and have a good Monday. Start your week off wonderfully. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye.